Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is a cozy, gloomy fall day, so I figured it was a perfect day to make some chili. This is just perfect because we'll obviously have dinner for tonight and then we'll have leftovers for the next couple of days. I found a chili recipe on Pinterest and I'll have that linked in the video description, but I'm also, I guess, gonna put like on screen right here. I've made just like slight little adaptions to it. So this is kind of my ingredient list. And then I just like, you know, throw everything in the crock pot and it cooks for like five hours. I figured I should give credit to like that original recipe because that's obviously where I found the recipe and I just like literally did like the smallest little tweaks. Like I add jalapeno, I add a little less cumin and then I add turmeric to it. I add more beans than it calls for. So just like really, really simple, simple things. But the base of my recipe is the one that will be linked from Pinterest. Hello, lady. Oh, hi, sweet girl. I would also love to do a video making my buffalo chickpea dip. I feel like that's one of my like staple recipes that I'm known for. <laughs> first things first, I'm going to brown the meat with some onion. I'm trying to hold your feet to make it easier for you. <laughs> and then I'll add garlic towards the end as well. And then once that's cooked and you throw it in the crock pot, you can pretty much just throw everything else in there. Um, I should probably get like my big pan since there's gonna be like a bunch of onion in there too. Got my Did you hear that? It's like in the handle. Salsa's feeling very clingy right now. She won't let me cook. Can you see her? Oh yeah, you can, I think you can see her. <laughs> Hi girl. So step one, I am going to chop up, dice up this yellow onion and then throw that into the pan. So a little trick with cutting onions that seems to have been working for me is you like go wet a paper towel and then wring it out just slightly and have it on your cutting board because supposedly what makes your eyes water is something being released while you're cutting the onion and it's drawn to moisture and the closest moisture is usually your eyes. I don't know, I read it on the internet, it might not be true. But I swear, I swear the paper towel thing has been working. Oh, that was not even. Look at how, <laughs> that is not half and half. <laughs> That's okay. Still got a little bit of tears. It. It definitely helped because I didn't get the tears till the very, very end, but my eyes are burning a little bit. <laughs> Something that I bought has been way more useful than I was even anticipating is this little, I think it's for like making dough. I don't even know the exact name of it. I'll find a link from when I bought it and put it in the description, but just being able to actually here, I can show you. I mean, I already showed this in the clip, but just being able to like, when you dice up veggies, scrape them all up like that is so convenient. Let's turn this on. Get some olive oil in there. So I just grabbed four decent sized cloves of garlic so I can mince all this up. <laughs> I put this stool in the middle of the kitchen for Sansa to potentially use, but now I can use it. So I guess technically you could saute the jalapeno too if you wanted, but I don't have I done that before? I think I've done it before. Okay, are you ready for some serious sizzling ASMR? Oh, those pieces could be cut down a little more. All right, I'm gonna add the ground beef in just a few minutes. I like to kind of let these just get like the teeniest bit of color. My stove needs to be cleaned. That's pesto. Literally there, there, and there is all pesto that I kept dropping over and over and over again yesterday. So the recipe calls for Worcestershire sauce. So I am going to add a little bit of this while the beef is cooking. Something about the smell of Worcestershire sauce just reminds me of my childhood. My parents must have cooked with it a lot or something, but 
it like makes my mouth water. <laughs> Alrighty, while this is finishing cooking, I'm going to mince up the garlic because I'm gonna add that for the last like minute of this. I hate when there's like big chunks of the meat. I don't know why my tripod is so crooked. It shouldn't be. We're gonna add all this garlic. Time to pull out the recipe and start doing the canned things. Oh, I still need to chop up the jalapeno. Oh my gosh, I haven't done that yet. That's okay, I can add everything else and get it like started cooking and then add the jalapeno after. I also don't add the beans until like halfway through, maybe even like an hour before it's finished, you can add the beans and that's totally fine. I have messed up and it cooked it the entire time with the beans because I just like wasn't thinking and threw everything in and it tasted absolutely fine. But let's grab three eight ounce cans of tomato sauce. Okay, here's everything I'm adding to start. We've got the three eight ounce cans of tomato sauce, two 10 ounce cans of Rotel, and then I think it calls for about a cup of beef broth. I just wing it. You can always add more if you want it to be more liquidy. I think I usually do like half the can. Does anyone remember that one episode of Arthur where he sliced his hand on a can like this? I am 30 years old and I still think about that episode. I often get questions on the cocoa powder, but it's honestly really common with chilies. People will do either like a little square of Dove chocolate, a scoop of peanut butter, some cocoa powder. When I posted about this recipe initially, I had people telling me all the little kind of unexpected things that they add. And those were like the top three. It's like you taste it kind of, but it's not chocolatey by any means. Oh my goodness, I hope I have enough chili powder. If not, I'm sure my parents have some that I can borrow next door. But it's supposed to be two full tablespoons, and I don't know if there's two full tablespoons in here. So there's one. E, we're a little bit short. That's probably a little more than half of a tablespoon. I mean, I swear I had bought another chili powder. Let me look in my cabinet really fast. <gasps> I did! I'm gonna add, honestly. We like it spicy, so. All right, any more tablespoons? One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I mean, we already put some, probably a tablespoon in the beef when we were cooking that. So I'll just add a few little splashes, you know? Well, I'm getting low on turmeric. I should add that to my shopping list. Because I'm supposed to do one teaspoon. Oh, I probably have about one teaspoon in here, to be honest. We'll just. Add the rest of that. All right, so one and two. Then I just need a half teaspoon of the coriander and a little bit of salt and pepper and we are good. Oh, it smells so good already and it's not even cooked. Oh, I wonder if I have any cornbread mix. I think I do. I have this weird one that says just add water, which feels wrong, but maybe I'll try it. All right, let's put our lid on for now. I feel like I've mentioned this before in a video, like a cooking video, but for some reason, I see people cutting jalapenos all the time with their bare hands, but whenever I do it, my nail beds are like throbbing for the rest of the day. So like I have to have the glove on my right hand since I'm left-handed, so I'll hold the knife with my left hand. I think now is a good time to note, for those of you that don't know, your jalapeno will be spicier if you leave like the membrane or the core um, and the seeds in. So it'll be way spicier if you chop it up with that. It'll be a little less spicy if you um, tend to take most of that off. There is a little bit of like the, I think that like the veins, there's different names for it or whatever. There's a little bit of that still in there, but I take most of the seeds out, to be honest. Also, I learned that homegrown jalapenos are way spicier than store-bought. There are some seeds left like on the cutting board and I'll just throw those in with it. Alrighty, jalapenos are in. I'll see you in a couple hours.
to add in the beans. Now I'm heating up some leftover toast to have a little lunch at 2 p.m. My new thing, so I've always put like Frank's Red Hot on my pizza, but lately I've also been putting the balsamic glaze that I usually use for avocado toast, and it is so, so good. I have so many dishes to do now. Hello, it is 5.28 p.m. It is starting to get dark, which is kind of sad. Hi, Aria. <laughs> it's time to add the beans to the chili. I usually get just like, I usually get the three different colors of the kidney beans, the dark red, the regular red, and the whites. And I'm gonna rinse these and then add them in and let it cook for another hour, hour and like 15. Chili is done. I'm gonna do a quick little taste test and then Brendan and I are gonna enjoy this. Oh, actually, so we have Tostitos scoops and then I'll usually have a piece of bread on the side of it as well. Actually just got off stream. I streamed for almost four hours, which was nice. A little scoop in here. I didn't really do much different this time. I guess there was a tiny bit more chili powder. Maybe a little bit more jalapeno. It's very, very hot temperature wise, but delicious. Otherwise, ooh, it has a nice bite to it. I'll probably add some cheddar cheese on top, actually. <gasps> Wait, let me go get that. Wait, oh my god, I'm gonna burn my mouth again. Definitely burn my tongue on that second one. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, you can hear the cars driving through like the rain puddles. It's kind of nice. Okay, I am gonna go have dinner with Brendan. I think I'm just gonna end this video off. Keep it a nice, simple little recipe video. I, again, will have the original recipe linked down below. Maybe I'll list out the ingredients down below as well, and as well as like the screenshot that I had on screen before. Follow my Instagram if you are not already. I'm Sasha Hippie over on there. I usually post my story pretty much daily, and then my feed posts are. Sometimes I'll post like every day for two weeks, and then I don't post for like two weeks. So <laughs> they're kind of all over the place, but I'm always on my stories. Uh, let me know if you have any more recipe requests. I definitely want to do the buffalo chickpea dip. And then I want to try some new recipes. I feel like I haven't tried new recipes in a while. I definitely want to make pumpkin cheesecake at some point. I did a super, super simple recipe last year that I found on Pinterest, but I would love to try a little more of a challenge perhaps. So I'll have to do some research and see what I can find online. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.